Hello and welcome. I am Ghulam Abbas from TechRoz.com. In this tutorial, let's talk about how can we solve the Net Framework 3.5 installation error in Windows Server 2016. Also, this method can be worked uh, in Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2. Last time, if you remembered, I had shown you the graphic user interface one, but this time, let's talk about how can we solve that through the PowerShell commands. Uh, so again, what you need is the image of windows server 2016 or 2012 or 2012 and then uh, when you insert that one right click uh, on the drive and then click open again select the sources folder and then click on the path and then again uh, press the forward slash and type down sx and then select it and then control a and control c to copy this path i'm going to minimize this one and I'm also going to open the Windows PowerShell uh, and that should, its privileges should be as administrator. So when this opens, uh, you have to type down this command uh, by the help of DISM command. We are going to install the Net Framework 3.5 installation error here in Windows Server 2016. So there is the DISM uh, slash online slash enable feature slash feature name and the feature name will be net it means net framework fx3 it means version 3 of net framework and then slash uh let me before going on further i have to show you here one thing let me have to mark it uh, so here this is the command by the help of gism command we are going to install that one and till here you can take a look at that if i press enter this is going to search online for the feature name called net framework 3.5 and if you are connected to the internet this is going to download and install by default that one here in windows server 2016 but if you are not in case it may happen if you are not having a net uh, an image of windows server 2016 or 2012 or 2012 r2 then you have to type down the slash and then press there type that all and again slash it means limit access limit access of what limit access of this feature to the internet it means it should not be connect to the in internet and then after that uh again press slash and then type down the source s o u r and then c a after the colon and then uh you have to type down the path the path which we copied uh from here you have to copy and then bring that one here and paste that one here so i have already copied and i have pasted that one here so uh press enter and this command is going to install the windows server uh, sorry the net framework 3.5 uh, here in windows server 2016 so this will take about uh five minutes so i will speed up this thing so it should not be fast for us And now you can take a look at that it has written the operation completed successfully for us and that is all from the uh how can we enable the net framework 3.5 with the command prompt here in windows server 2016 let's check it out is that available here in windows server 2016 or no so i'm going to type down the get and then uh windows feature will be there tap and this is going to bring the whole thing for me so when you are done click enter and let's take a look that is it available or no so let's take a look that is that available or no here you have to find the net framework 3.5 here is the dot net environment 3.5 and here is it available or if it's run, if it is written available here let's go ahead and check that one here in the server manager so let's go ahead and check that out next 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 
on the feature step yes you can take a look at that it has been installed for us and if i should explain here the http actuation and non http actuation these both are remaining but i really am confused that why that is not available here that must be available here but uh, i really don't know why that is not available here so no matter it was all about how to install the uh Net framework 3.5 here in Windows Server 2016 with the PowerShell commands. Uh, you can visit the whole article in our website, which is techros.com. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And if you have any question, type your question down in the command section of this video or in our website, which is techros.com. Till next time, have a nice time and goodbye.